Hi, my name is Paul Withers from Intex Systems Limited, and this is an overview of XWeb, Intex X Pages based website content management tool. It was developed to support my own personal website, shown here. The textual content of each page allows full formatting, so we can have italics, bold, underlined, that kind of thing, uh, but it also allows you to easily enter links. There are a variety of layouts. Here we've got a single page layout with an image on the right hand side. You can also have a two frame layout with navigation on the left, a two frame layout with navigation on the right, or a three frame layout as we've got here. And for every page you can enter an image. It can appear on the left, on the right, or above the main content. So here we've got an ex example of a two frame layout with navigation on the right and an image on the right hand side. And here we've got a two frame layout with navigation on the left and no image. The main content can be ordered uh, using main tabs or top tabs. I've extended this particular instance to allow both. And there are five themes to choose from for your layout, uh, for your website. A gray theme as we had on the first one, a green theme, a gold theme, a blue theme and a red theme. And you can also define a fav icon to appear. That's the little icon that appears on the address bar and on the tab. You can also define content to appear in a footer. Here I've got a copyright as well as links to a disclaimer and privacy. And there's a link to a sitemap that automatically appears. This is dynamic so there's no need to update that content as soon as you add a page and publish it it will appear on that sitemap. So let's have a look at the admin area. Once an authorized user is logged in then they get the admin setup button. From there you can go to the profile to define the look and feel of the site. So we can define the title, the theme, so there we've got the options of the blue, green, gold, grey and red. Logos and fav icons, uh, footer text, whether to include a privacy link or a disclaimer, and the layout style. Uh, at the moment we've got top tabs, we can also define that as main tabs. With the top tabs, the branding, that company logo appears below those tabs. If I just save this with main tabs, and the main tabs appear and the branding appears above that. There are four different building blocks for our website. Sections to group content, pages, uh, external links and redirections to pages that we've already set up. So let's create a page and each page has a page title. This is used to open that particular page and we've got a layout so that we can include a left sidebar or a right sidebar and add images. And we can define the image position for that. Page titles are also validated to make sure that you don't have two pages with the same title. And then the main content is entered using an extension to the Dojo editor. This allows you to highlight text and use action buttons to add formatting for, for example, bold. But it also allows you to use keyboard shortcuts. So Control and B will make it bold, Control and I for italics, all the familiar shortcuts for formatting. To add a link, we just select the content, click on the link button, and enter the URL. Here I'm doing a link to the Intech website. We can also change the color for text, both for the foreground color and the background color. Here I'm changing the foreground color to blue. And we can also use uh, ASCII shortcuts to uh, 
enter special characters. So for the copyright character that we saw in the footer, it's just Alt plus 0169 on the number pad. And that copyright character is inserted. Once we've completed uh, all the content, we just save that page and it's entered into the uh, navigation. Clicking on the link, we can preview that page. At the moment, that page hasn't been published to the site. It's still draft, as shown by uh, the little padlock icon. We have context-sensitive buttons uh, to allow us to publish, set as a home page, edit, delete, and reorder the content. And for uh, sections, we can then enter content immediately below there. So here I'm adding an external link to my own personal website. Give it a title. And define where I want it to appear. And it gives us an area to test that link as well. To make sure that it's going where we expect it to. Again, save that and it adds it into the hierarchy in the relevant position. And we can add a redirection as well. So this is a redirection to a page that we've already set up within this site. We're going to show it in the right hand sidebar. Set the redirection and select from one of the pages that we've set up so that particular page and as we can see that is going to that particular page so by adding sections pages links and redirections at any level in the hierarchy we can build up our website we can delete content, but only at the lowest level in the hierarchy. This maintains the integrity of the site, so it allows me to delete this redirection that I've just created. And we can also reorder content, moving it up, down, indenting and outdenting. So that's XWeb from Intex Systems Limited. To purchase XWeb or find out more about Intex work with Lotus Domino and X pages, you can contact us at our website via email or on the phone number shown here.